In the previous episode, we defeated the Deerclops, and that was basically it. I did a little bit of stuff here and there, but mostly just the Deerclops. And since then, I've probably played about, I don't know, three to four episodes worth of content. That is all totally not worth watching. It was me doing a lot of farming. It was me getting set up for the Wall of Flesh. It was me just going around doing my thing. Uh, first thing that I did. I put some planters down and I've been farming up some herbs. Why? Well, because I've been trying to get myself the buffs that I've needed for a while. So I have now crafted 30 magic power potions. Funny, I actually just picked one up when I was down in the, um, in the underworld. Actually, I had picked a couple up, but I it drank one. You know, There's a whole thing. Anyways, I'm, I'm up to 31 of them. I have regeneration potions, mana regeneration potions. Um, and I was gonna make, uh, let's see if I have enough. I had forgotten until just now. I was gonna make shine potions. Ooh, we may not have enough. Oh no, 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 I got, I got five. So 20, one, two, three, four, five, boom. So now we have permanent shine, which is beautiful for, bam, for having that permanent buff. So if, if you're new to the, the series, you're new to the channel even, then you should know I'm playing with Fargo's Mutant mod installed. It's a convenience mod. So it allows us, if we have 30 of these stacked, we get the buff for them, which is really nice. And for someone like me who's so busy, it means I don't have to farm a whole lot. I just get the 30 and then I'm done with that. Uh, I don't really think there's any other ones I can get. I didn't want to grab that gravitation potion. I want to grab that obsidian skin potion. We're going to use that for sure. So yeah, I got... I got a bunch of stuff crafted there. You might notice this new thing above my head. Well, that's because I've been in the underworld just clearing out some of these buildings uh, of the obsidian bricks. I use the obsidian bricks, right? So if we go to crafting. I use the obsidian bricks to make obsidian platforms, right? We use the obsidian platforms to make obsidian insta bridges. So we need a thousand platforms. Actually, it went pretty fast. The reason why. It's kind of funny. I I went into ore excavator and I added a whitelist for obsidian blocks. So I would just go to the house and just completely demolish it down with a single click or mostly a single click. And then it, it made it fairly quick to do that. I mean, it still took a while, but I got I got enough uh, bricks in order to make the the two obsidian insta bridges, which allows us to make the, the double obsidian insta bridge. And we have it there. So now you got that. All right, you're all basically caught up. There was one last thing I've been doing. So this slag turn staff, um, it summons a hovering slag lantern that lobs lava at nearby foes. It's right here, it's really nice. Oh, whoa, there was one more thing. I went to the, before I talk about that, cause it's related. I had gone to the dungeon. I found another bewitching table. So now we have our three bewitching tables. And I just offhand was like, I wonder how many sharpening stations I had. I had three. I don't know how I got three or why I had three, but I had three in my thing. I think I found one early on, and then I found one in uh, in that in between the last episode and the one before that. Oh yeah, you can see the lantern doing its job. It's pretty good. It's actually not a sentry, by the way. It is a full on. I wish I picked these guys up. We might be able to get some like perma luck potions. Put that zoologist back down. I don't want her in my inventory. Anyways, so yeah, I found one um, definitely when I was trying to farm the flinks in order to do the deer clops. Like there was a bunch of stuff that we've done since then, which has allowed me to uh, find three of them apparently. So I have three of them, which is really nice, even though right now I'm not using that. So anyways, back to this staff. So the staff is made with, oh, that's another thing. I just, sorry, I just opened this up. I just upgraded my, um, my mana regeneration band to magic cuffs. So there you go. All right, going going back to the slag. Is that what it's called? Uh, it's called slagstone. I've been getting this while I was under in the underworld. Um, it just makes a bunch of really cool stuff. I can make uh, the pain collar, which requires hard mode. But this is how you summon Infernon. The Hellstone charm, 5% increased attack and damage, which is really good. It's just 
5% increased damage, essentially. Um, but there's also this Bloody Bobble. Increases melee speed by 5%, increases damage reduction and damage dealt by 5%, increases critical strike chance by 5%, and attacks have a small chance to steal life. It's pretty good, but you need each of these different baubles. I think that's super cool. That's such a great idea. And then the Twilight Talisman, which is essentially the... Um, the corruption version of this. So this is what we would get. We would need a vile charm. Uh, how do you make a vile charm? Oh, just basic stuff. So we can we can make this, and that would be a nice little melee boost for us too, which is cool. Anyway, let's go back to uh, the slag stone. Right. So the slag stone, we can make the slag breaker, which is this hammer that you can throw like a boomerang. We can't make the flame beer, flame burge, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's hard mode. Uh, the slag breath is a mage weapon. Expels spurts of magical flame, critical hits, shower enemies, and damaging sparks. It's kind of nice. But what I want to do, because uh, there's also this blast from her, it's, it's okay. I, I want to make this slag tyrant's armor. And I need like uh, 40. I need 40 slag stone. And I don't remember how much I have, honestly. I've got 25 on me. And that's because I spent some making this summon. And the summon is pretty cool. Even though it's not a, uh, oh, oh, last thing, I, I, I did the pylon. Oh, the guys over here. So I moved the, what's his face over here? The, uh, does he have anything good? DPS meter, I'll take that, thank you very much. So I moved the, the, I'm sorry, it's t I'm really tired tonight. Um, uh, not the demolition, it's the arms dealer. Wow, that was, <laughs> struggled through that, huh? Moved the arms dealer over here. Did the whole thing with the nurse. It allowed me to um, buy the pylon. So we did that. There was also some really good suggestions in the comments. I may address those this episode, but at this point, I'm just kind of, I've been playing for a bit for actually quite a while tonight. Um, going on like two hours, just getting all this stuff done just so I can make this episode where we try to kill the wall of flesh, which brings me back to the beginning of the episode. Right? The whole goal of today's episode is to get the wall of flesh done. And I've been waiting to do this. I've been waiting. I've been waiting long and hard to, as soon as this thing gets killed, thank you very much, to plop this sucker down. It might be loud, so bear with me. Always lags the game out. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna mute that. It's a loud, loud sound. Um, and you can see it It makes quite the, uh, <laughs> quite the hole in the world. And it goes all the way across, baby. Which means this whole, um, this whole area is way easier to traverse. So we want to look for those slag enemies. There, There's a whole new set of an enemies. There's like this like floating skull thing. There is a, um, it's, how do you describe it? It's kind of like the meteor skulls where it goes through the ground and comes right at you, but it's like a demonic skull. Um, there's that and they, they dropped the, the stuff we need. Oh, we just got a cascade. Pretty good. Cascade's not a bad melee weapon, by the way. Like, uh, if I were to do that yo-yo playthrough, it, the Cascade would definitely be a weapon that I go for. It requires some farming, though. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find some slag enemies, and if I do, you'll know, because I'll pop in and let you know what they look like. But then you kind of have an idea of what I'm trying to farm here. Okay, you can see one just to the left there. The Wrathful Soul. You can put a little turret down there. So that one kind of charges up to attack you, but because we're so far away, we got a blink glyph <laughs> and we got three slag stones. So it's going to take us a little bit to farm this out. The enchanter has arrived. Who's the enchanter? Where did they go to? Should I come back? No, I'm going to, I'm going to farm a little bit. Then I'll go find the enchanter. All right. Here's, here's another one of those enemies. This is the one that like charges you. Like I said, it goes through bricks. Kind of a pain in the butt. But we got two slag. There's another one up here. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while to get the slag we need. Like I said, I think we needed 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I think I had like 20 something. It's gonna, it's gonna take a bit. Oh, here's a random bit of info to share. Um, so that the other day when I was talking about uh, my toddler getting the fever and everything. Well, the that night that she got the fever, or the, sorry, the, the following day that she had the fever, I was like, 
kind of feeling a little sick, right? I was like, mm, not liking this, right? So I had made that, I had made that Terraria video that I talked about all of this in. I got the Terraria video up and it was, it was pretty late or early, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, it was like two o'clock in the morning at that point. And I was like, hmm, not feeling super hot. Feeling, feeling a little gross. Feeling like I'm getting that fever as well. And hers had kind of gone away within a day. So I was like, well, if I get sick, I hope it goes away within a day, but it's possible that it won't. So I then just decided I'm also going to record a Baldur's Gate episode, which I did. So I'm technically a day ahead at the moment. So this episode won't go out until tomorrow when I'm recording it now. So you'll, you're, you're hearing past me. Not that you never not hear past me. <laughs> Unless it's a live stream, you're hearing past me. And even then, if it's a live stream bot, anyway, I, just, I don't need to go into all that detail. But the point is, for the first time in a while, I'm head on videos and I'm going to try to keep it that way. Well, this may uh, result in episodes going up earlier during the day for uh, people in the North America. But who knows? Well, we'll see. <laughs> it really depends on how busy I get. And right now I'm fairly busy as we head into the fall. Okay, I might have enough now. I've been down here a while. Let's go check. Uh, ooh, big old storm, huh? Oh, there's the enchanter. Salque. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. Let's see what he's got for sale. He's got a charm caster's hat. It's a vanity thing. Nice little vanity set. Um, he's got glyphs. What are these glyphs? Null glyph. Can be used to wipe a glyph off an item. Okay. Frost glyph. Fire. Oh, wait. Can only be applied to weapons. The enchant. Okay, so you can enchant weapons with it. The enchant weapon will gain stinging cold. Plus 5% movement speed. Critical strikes um, conjure ice spikes that orbit you. Every spike beyond the fifth will be shot towards your cursor. Okay, uh, efficiency glyph. Do, 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 can only be applied to tools. Th plus 30% speed and plus two range. Wow, that's really good. Um, quick click to quick sell your items. Really? Can I do that? Can I sell this, this javelin? Like what, uh, what exactly is it going to quick sell? Let's see. Huh, where is it? Where, where is that from? What mod gives me that? Not sure. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, Radiant Glyph. Uh, plus 4% critical strike chance. Not attacking build stacks of divine strike. The next hit empowers or empowered by 11% per stack. Wow. Uh, Sanguine Strike plus 2 life regen per second. Attacks inflict crimson bleed. Attacking bleeding enemies leeches some life. That's really good. Storm Glyph, three defense. Every third attack will cause a silence or slicing gust. The gust will knock enemies in the air and inflict wind burst. Enemies afflicted with wind burst receive amplified knockback. It's actually really good too. Uh, unholy Glyph, armor penetration, critical strikes inflict wandering plague. Afflicted enemies will lose life and release toxic clouds. Veiled Glyph, 5% attack speed. After 8 seconds of not attacking, you gain Phantom Veil. The Veil will increase life regeneration and block the next attack. And then the Bee Glyph drenches the user in honey. Attacks will release bees. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> I kind of want bees. kind of want the bee armor, but we're working on something, right? We're working on something. So let's go slag. Caps lock on. Uh, yeah, we have enough. So we got the... The pants, the helm, and the plate mail. Uh, we are going to go ahead and take off the um, vanity set here. And then equip this. We're at 43 defense. This is definitely going to have less. 33, so we lose 10. But double tap down to cause all sentries to release a burst of fireballs. Eight second cooldown. Wow, that's really good. Okay, I know it went off, but I couldn't see it. <laughs> um, this increases a bunch of minion stuff, but this fancy little thing from Fargo's mutant mod is really nice. It shows that we have four max minions and two max sentries. Dang, that's like really good. Um, so I can have two of these down, and if I use the thing, ooh, that's gonna be really good. Okay. I think I can, I can only ever have one of these, but we can have, so that's two, three, four, right? 
Yeah, because that would put one of those out. If we do this, then we got the three. Wow, that's really good. Um, hmm. Let's make a snap thorn. Ooh, it's unpleasant. Uh, that will allow me to whip the Eye of Cthulhu, right? Making it so all those attack the same target. It's gonna be really nice. And then I can just use my magic weapons um, outside of that okay, quest. We got Beneath the Ice. Welcome, friend. I've got a bit of an unusual request for you today. You see, I've sent some strange energy emanating from the fo frozen tundra as of late. I'd like you to venture there and learn more, but not before we gain some knowledge beforehand. First, let's ask around. All right, so what was that quest that we just got? Open this up. It was called Beneath the Ice. Why am I not saying it? There it is. Ask the Dryad about ancient myths. Ooh, what do we get here? Fur coverings? Frost giant belt? Really? 50% uh, knockback resistance while charging a club. Charging a cl club gradually increases defense. That is such a cool item. Cool. Activate that. I guess we're going to go talk to her while we're at it. Where's she at? Boom. Does she... Ask the adventurer about the snow biome. Wait, whoa, whoa. Didn't it say the Dryad? Now everything's confused. Adventurer, get over here. See, he's, you know, return the enchanter with what you know. Okay, I, I, did he actually tell me? I didn't read it. And then I returned to him. I see the, these leads are promising, perhaps killing some of the frozen creatures or trying to find one of these souls that Dryad mentioned. Wow, I didn't see any of that, sorry. Uh, you could always pause and read it if you're interested. Could shed some light on the relentlessness of the ice biome. I was hoping that there'd be like a quest button, but apparently not. I got killed Winterborn. Or try to find a soul in the ice biome. Well, that seems like something we could do. But you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna head back underground. Um, actually, we're not gonna head underground yet. I gotta prep properly, you know what I mean? No, let's just go back. Uh, I need a... a doll. We're gonna do a guide voodoo doll. Pop this stuff in there. I like the look of this armor. It's really cool. Um, what else do I need? I think that's gonna be it. I don't think I'm gonna need anything else to do wall of flesh. Let's try to get in a hard mode. I think all of that effort that I've put on tonight. Oh, that's right. I've, I've been using the double down, uh, like body slam thing to drop really fast with this. Forgot that that was that other armor set. I'm gonna have to get used to that. It's probably gonna take a while too. Anyways, let's. I, I want to make all this effort that I put into Terraria tonight for you guys. And I was able to do that kind of effort because I wasn't having to rush to get my video up. I was able to actually like sit there and be very mindful of like trying to get stuff done to make this a good episode. And it's kind of how I wish I could do stuff more, but honestly, I need, I need to be able to invest more time into the videos in order to do that. And if you want to help me with that, if you want to help me invest more time, best way to do that is to support the channel either on Patreon at patreon.com slash OSWGuild or on YouTube by becoming a channel member, the uh, join button down below. But you know what? If you don't got any money, that's totally fine. I get it. Been there, done that, am there, done that right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kids are expensive. And why am I getting all this gold? Oh, this would be from all the, uh, yeah, from all the, what do you call it? It's the, the pots. Here, let's, let's dump our gold in there. Um, then, you know what? I totally get it. Just hit the like button, leave a comment, and that helps share the stuff. And you know what? If you're not subscribed, do that too. I mean, you've watched this far into the video. You clearly like my videos. May as well subscribe. What are you doing? Get on it. All right, this is probably far enough. So we're just going to go ahead and drop this bad boy down here. Um, I'm going to put a couple of these down. Okay, I really need to put these on the top if I'm going to use that. Should probably heal up already. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this cool new effect of ours. I need to get close to the boss to get the... The, um... What do you want to call it? Wow, that's such a cool effect to get our summons attacking the correct eye. But I'm just trying to get rid of some of the hungry because they're gonna cause some issues here. As I'm sure you're aware, the hungry are just kind of annoying <laughs> oftentimes. That's what they do, kind of their purpose. 
Okay, we're about to be able to get close enough here. If I'm, close, if I'm careful, there we go. Did I get it? I think I might have. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. So now I can, I can just not even worry about um, about targeting stuff usually. I can, I can just kind of let my... Oh my goodness, I'm going to die here, aren't I? I can just let my minions do the hard work if they can. I need to start killing more of these hungry though. I actually might need to use a different magic weapon for this. This is like super cool, but it's kind of hard to hit with. If I'm being honest. Hmm. Also need to focus because I'm just getting hit by stuff. All right, let's whip it down. Whip it real good. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Maybe summoner is not the way to do this. I feel like yeah, this is not helping. Um, hmm. I keep getting smacked by this stuff. It's not ideal. Oh man, I'm leaving so many hearts behind because I just can't get close. It happens. At this rate, I'm just not doing enough damage to the actual boss because the hungrier getting in my way. I think what we do... Yeah, I, I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna try that one more time with Summoner. And I'm gonna try to stack my turrets and do the effect every eight seconds because that did a lot of damage. And if I stack them on the top and then move to the bottom and then do the effect as the boss goes through, all that fire hits all three. So that might be the best way to do that, I think. Okay, we're gonna try this again after we kill the soul. So I want that slag in case I have to make a different weapon. Uh, let's do that. Actually, probably should try to make the magic weapon, huh? Where's our doll? Let's drop him in there. Didn't make it. <laughs> Here, you know what? Let's get a little bit more prepared real quick. There we go. Drop the doll in there. So one thing I could also do is try out this little like tentacle weapon. <laughs> All right, let's let's try let's try lining this up properly. Yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. I think I think I'm just gonna have to kind of focus and try to get that double down effect there for that extra damage and hope hope that that works. I mean, yeah, it's doing a lot. I also could just be hitting the boss with this weapon instead of the hungry. <laughs> but this is kind of part of the problem is that my my minions are attacking the hungry because I can't quite get close enough. So what I really need to do is kill off some hungry, get close enough so all my minions are doing their job in a way better, more effective way. Mm, that, that effect is real nice though. <laughs> I do like it. I kind of wish I had better sentries for this, but I don't want to do Old One's Army and I'm not sure if they're going to be any better anyways. Worth the time investment. Ah, that was closer. I'm not sure how I feel about, um, how I feel about this build. I think it's okay, but m like all of my minions are just attacking the hungry. I can't get close enough to get in and hit the eye. Um, so I might switch to ranged. So I'm going to try kind of what we're doing. I don't, I don't want to mix it up too much. <clears throat> I just realized I have like six of these. I don't want to mix it up too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two, three of those, one of these, and I'm going to use either this weapon, because this weapon is freaking sweet, um, or this weapon. So I had put this one away, but I mean, it does a lot of damage and it pierces enemies too. So that actually might help quite a lot. So we're going to try that. You know what? I'm going to try three imps instead of the little droid things it, because they, they pierce. Piercing is so important on this boss. Like I can't, I can't state that enough. Like how important pierce can be on this particular boss fight when you're trying to fight your way through all of the hungry. The more damage that you have piercing through all of that and actually hitting the boss, the quicker the boss fight goes, right? The quicker the boss fight goes, the easier it is. It's, um, it's like the classic, uh, a thing that people deal with playing MMOs or even like actually a more recent example is things like like uh, Elden Ring and like Souls-like games where you could go more defense. You could be more defensive and survive longer, but that drags the fight out. 
a lot of the times, especially for skilled players, um, the the best way to actually defeat something that's quite difficult is not by drawing it out. It's it's often by doing as much damage as quickly as possible and being as squishy as it, as you have to be in order to get through it. Um, just because the faster you get the fight done, again, the faster it's over, the less you have to worry about the damage you're taking. If you could just like, you know, think about it. If you could just one shot the fight, then, you know, it's gone. It's dead. You killed it in one hit. But if you have to do two or three attacks to kill it and you are way more tanky, but, you know, the chances of you getting hit by stuff, or let's say 10 attacks, the chances of you getting hit by stuff are much higher. Yeah, I think you get the point. So that's kind of like the a weird little strategy thing is that there comes a point in which you have to go, ah, yes, it is worth it for me to be a little bit more aggressive. And that's that's what we're going to try here. I'm not going to try to change anything to be more tanky. I'm just going to try to be a little bit more aggressive. And we're going to kill that soul thing ASAP. <laughs> Don't want that actually hurting me. I'm going to pop a couple of these down. Use that. Get that fire out there. I don't know if I'm actually hitting the boss. It looks like I might be. Um, problem is, it takes my focus away from where I need it, which is dodging the lasers and the hungry. Because now my like eyes are way off to the left. So I have to... I'm going to have to focus on this one. I feel like I'm doing less damage. Why is that? Do I have all my summons out? I guess I would. Uh, it might be the summons that I'm using as well. Maybe the little dudes were a bit better. But I don't know. Because they... The issue with the little dudes, obviously, is that they... They focus a single target down. I don't want them doing that. I want to I'm, I'm hitting the boss. <laughs> so the piercing of the imps might be a little bit better here. Maybe this is going better. I, I feel like I can actually get in there with the snap thorn at the next chance that I get. Get the boss um, focused down. Let's try it now. No. That may have done it. Hard to tell. Look at that heal. No, we're not currently. There we go. Oh, was it worth the damage? Mm. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Oh no, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? <laughs> no, don't get hit. No, oh, couldn't go up fast enough. I'm used to having that jump speed on the other armor and I just didn't have it there. Crap. Ah, oh, we're so close, but I've been doing this for so long. I don't know. Oh wow, look at this weapon. I should have been using this one. I just crafted the slag breath. It's also mythical, heck yeah. Okay, well, let's try that. So one, two, three, one of these. Uh, do I have another doll? All right, I'm gonna get one when I get down there. Whoa, I just got this as well. Armored Fiery Maw. So magic attacks may shoot out fiery spit that explode upon hitting enemies. 7% increase in magic damage. That might uh, replace this. So what's the magic? Oh, I see the magic spit now. Oh, that's really cool. You know what? This feels a lot better. Finally, a guide voodoo doll. Goodness, can it drop in the lava for me? No, it didn't. <laughs> I was hoping. All right, let's pop a couple of these down. Drop that in. I'm really curious to see how this ends up working. Um, wrong weapon. Two, there we go. Blast him, baby. I mean, this seems a lot better. I'm doing like 500 DPS. <laughs> Where I definitely was not doing 500 DPS before. Yeah, this weapon is way, way better. Mana mana, so we just gotta give it a second. That's nice. Our mana regen is very high due to everything. So we just gotta keep that up. Put a couple more of these down. Let the fire rain upon them. <laughs> this is nice. I'm digging this. It's a fun little, uh, fun little magic weapon here. Yeah, this is way better. Okay, I can dig it. I can here for a second. As you can tell, I kind of allowed myself to block one of those shots with the um, little silt that was sitting on the platform there. All right, I got to focus for this last bit. This is going to start going real fast here. Damn it, just keep getting hit. No, 
Oh my goodness, no! <laughs> you were so close. No! There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. I'm going back home. <laughs> Once in it and broomed mother or two that got the ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. Ay yay yay. Let's just put this down, see what we got from the wall of flesh. <sighs> okay, what did we get? Warrior emblem, cool. I mean it doesn't really matter to me actually. Oh we got the goat skull. I'll take the goat skull. I like the goat. It also kind of matches our motif, you know, that we got going on. Use that demon heart. It's going to allow us to get another accessory in there. Um, scarab pendant. Someone's a rideable giant pill bug. Oh, right, right, right. That was from what we just got. And then, I mean, I got a lot of stuff just going back and forth there. Drop that in. We'll hold on to that. Drop this stuff in. And of course, do, do, do. I actually might want that clockwork rifle. Uh, think about it. Um, get out of camera mode. What I want to do, actually, is come back in the next episode and do all this. I've been playing for almost four hours tonight. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. I do this for you guys. <laughs> love me, please love me. <laughs>